AI and customer service. We talk about it like it's the shiny new tool, but here's the truth. It's not exactly new. It's been quietly working behind the scenes for like years, and most of us didn't even notice it. Now, what's new is how advanced it's become and how fast it's accelerating. Think about it, from predictive chatbots that can resolve your issues before you even realize you have them, to AI systems that remember your last purchase and suggest the next one. It's all happening right now, and it's changing the rules of the game. So today we're diving into how AI is taking over customer service and what it means for both businesses and customers. Let's get into it. Let me start by saying that it's not just about chatbots and automated responses anymore. It's about reshaping how we connect, buy, and stay loyal to brands. Like, the AI takeover is here, and it's only getting bigger. So let's play this out. You're shopping online, eyeing that perfect pair of sneakers. You check out the price and the reviews, and you know, maybe you would add it to your cart, right? But then you bounce, because you know, you're not really sure if you want them just yet. And five minutes later, you're on Instagram, and boom, there's that exact pair of sneakers staring back at you with a still interested message. Creepy, maybe. Effective, absolutely. And that's AI working its magic, tracking your every move and nudging you back to checkout. So number one, AI knows you better than you do. And so of course, AI isn't reading your mind, you know, at least yet, but it sure does feel like it, doesn't it? Like, it's tracking every click, every scroll, every hesitation, from analyzing your shopping habits to predicting what you might buy next. AI is like that friend who knows what you need before you do, you know what I mean? Like, think about it. Netflix recommends shows you're actually interested in because it's tracking what you binge. Now, take that same principle and apply it to shopping. So we have Amazon, TikTok, you know, even your local e-commerce store. They're all using AI to suggest products, throw in those discounts, and make you feel like you're the only shopper in the world. Personalized? Yes. Powerful? Absolutely. But it goes further. You know, some AI systems today use eye tracking to understand what you're focused on or predict your buying behavior based on biometric signals. I'm not joking. So, for example, researchers have developed deep learning models like Retina to predict consumer choices using eye movement data. And companies like Dragonfly AI integrate this with predictive analytics to identify what content will grab user attention before it even happens. And coming soon, AI that can detect your mood in real time through your voice, text, and facial expressions. And adapt its tone, pace, and even its message to match. Like, voice AI platforms are already using speech analysis to identify emotions during support calls. You know, it's not science fiction, it's the next stage of personalization. And remember, AI never sleeps. See, AI isn't just selling, it's serving. Imagine having a customer support rep that never sleeps, never takes a break, and never gets annoyed. That's AI-powered chatbots. Like, they're handling FAQs, solving problems, and even upselling all without having a coffee break. And you know, it's not just about answering questions. It's about doing it instantly. Customers, they expect responses in seconds and not hours. Now, with AI, businesses can provide that level of service 24-7. Now, the best part? Customers don't even realize they're talking to a bot as long as it's done right. And in the near future, AI chatbots won't just respond, they'll act. Let's say you need to change the address on a package, right? You start a chat, give your order number and the new address, and that's it. Like, the AI handles the update for you. No forms, no forwarding, no waiting. It's not just about support anymore, it's about execution. So, AI won't just help you through the steps, it'll take care of them for you. Number three, data is the new currency. Let's get real. AI's power comes from data, your data. Every search, every click, every abandoned cart, it's all being collected, analyzed, and used to predict your next move. It's like having a sales rep that knows exactly what you want, but without ever speaking to you. And the more we interact with AI systems, the more we of course teach them. Now, we're the data, and while that means more convenience, it also means less privacy, right? 
Companies are using advanced data modeling, biometric tracking, and behavioral segmentation to know not just what you want, but when you want it. And sometimes, even why. Companies like Zigra use behavioral biometrics to create dynamic user profiles based on how you type, swipe, or hold your device, all to personalize your experience or, let's say, detect fraud, often without you noticing. Amazon, on the other hand, leverages behavioral segmentation through Amazon Personalize to tailor experiences in real time. This customizes product recommendations based on your browsing behavior, shopping patterns, and session dwell time. And honestly, if that were enough, biometric platforms like Effectiva, now a part of a smart eye, use facial expression and voice tone analysis to help brands gauge emotional responses to content, including digital ads and product pages, of course. Now, you see, these systems are constantly learning, not just what you click, but how you feel about it. And the question is, where's the line? Like, when does helpful become invasive? Now, moving forward, brands that succeed will be those that balance AI-powered personalization with transparency and trust. Number four, the future of AI and customer service. So where do we go from here? Well, AI isn't just here to stay. It's here to evolve. We're talking smarter bots, predictive analytics, and hyper-personalized experiences that make you feel like every brand is rolling out the red carpet just for you. And in the future, AI will become more emotionally intelligent. You know, not just understanding what you say, but how you feel when you say it. Like, it will adapt its tone, pacing, and message in real time based on your mood. So if you're frustrated, it might speak more gently. If you're in a rush, it will definitely cut the fluff. It will also become more context aware. So imagine an AI system that doesn't just know your order history, but pulls in your last support chat, your recent browsing patterns, and your preferred communication channel, and uses all of it to tailor its response seamlessly. We're heading toward fully autonomous AI that can manage the entire customer experience from start to finish. And you won't just get product suggestions, you'll get checkout, payment, shipping updates, and returns handled without ever needing to repeat yourself or switch tabs. Now, to sum it all up, these interactions won't be siloed. So voice, video, and chat will blend into one fluid experience. So let's say you start conversation by voice on your phone, continue it via text on your laptop, and finish it on your smart speaker. Yeah, this is the new standard AI is building toward. Eventually, AI might not just assist with customer service, it might be customer service. Like one continuous interface that knows your online history, predicts your needs, and connects across channels without ever breaking the flow. And the businesses that win will be those who don't just use AI to save time, but use it to create connections. Now, that's a wrap on today's look at the AI takeover in customer service. What do you think? Are we adding into a better experience or are we giving up too much along the way? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. By the way, go check out my other video on how AI is changing the way we buy and sell. I'll catch you the next one.